Drake just compared himself to Jesus Christ. Wow. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Crypt here. You probably don't really give a f about that, but a lot of people have been asking me to check out this freestyle right here by Drake and Central C on the radar. So I'm down, bro. Saturday morning, breaking down freestyle bars. What sounds better than that? I'll tell you what sounds better. Keeping your balls nice and clean and smelling good. Shout out to the homies over at Manscaped for sponsoring this video and sponsoring my channel. I love these guys. I've been with them for years. And to put it quite blunt, if you want to make sure your downstairs is ready for action at all times, you need to be checking out Manscaped. They got a ton of stuff that will get you right over there i personally recommend the lawnmower 4.0 for trying to make sure it's nice and groomed but if you're not looking to spend as much money i 100 recommend the ball deodorant that makes your boy smell good all the time no matter what and it's also anti-chafing so for bigger guys like me when my thighs rub together and stuff when i'm outside playing football or something it's like a two-in-one and if you use my code crypt 20 at checkout you get 20 percent off and free worldwide shipping and if you send me a receipt on my instagram i'll follow you back because it's freaking dope if you want to support me like that but all right i am ready for this i've reacted to drake a handful of times on this channel never checked out central c before for, so i'm excited for my first impression on the guy also fair warning there's probably gonna be a ton of pausing throughout this this is my first time listening first time reacting first time everything because i like to try to catch as many bars as possible yes sir baby on the radar radio freestyles yo drake and central c in the building i'm gonna step out they both gonna step in and body this all right let's go all right body don't upset the dj bro yeah on the radar 2023 i like this Six G O D, man, bro. eddie murphy stand-up jacket he's got on <laughs> know what it is so madness and badness combination accent yeah. drake in the building hey Grr. on morning side, oh, we got drill got no stick in a ride if I take flicks with the guys, I gotta put emojis over like three faces Cause the feds can't see those eyes People I shouldn't be beside mm. When I was an actor, they would go Stratford just to sell food on Bieber's side Plenty reasons mm. why I'm this way, my girl, that's just one reason why I seen you around at Soto enough, man, baby, you love all some idiot guys Yo, oh, I'm loving this guy. rhyme scheme that he's got right here This be the thigh, like idiot guys, see those guys, be those guys, Bieber's side Like it's a nice little rhyme scheme that he's got, but he essentially opened up the freestyle saying he's got people that will fucking kill you. He hangs out with people that will murder you. Just not even think about it. He's got to put emojis over their face when he takes pictures with them because the feds are fucking looking for these guys. When he was an actor, they used to sell stuff over on Bieber's side in Canada. Was was, was Bieber in like the, the nice parts of Canada or the, like the rough parts? I don't know. It's, it's definitely a reference to Bieber growing up in Canada and him in Canada. Again, just saying that I'll, I will, I got guys that will fucking kill you. Okay, don't fuck with me. Soto enough, man, baby. You love all some idiot guys. Obedient guys, jokers and comedian guys. You know I'm like six foot two and a right shoe love, but you love all some medium guys. Mm. I want to keep you on a beach till 6 a.m. so you see sunrise. Seeing you from the stage in the 100s, these must be eagle eyes. Pressing against me, thinking Ooh. about entry. No, you could tell it's a decent size. <laughs> you want to know the real me, girl, so you want to see deep inside. Oh, it God, it wouldn't be a Drake song without him talking about how big a dick is. Pressing up against it, you can feel it. You know it's a decent size, girl. You know that dick big. Again, he's still carrying this rhyme scheme, though. The decent size, be with those guys, see those guys. Like it's, it's still the exact same rhyme scheme. And we're about a minute into this freestyle, forty-five seconds. So that's kind of impressive what he's doing right there. Uh, he spotted somebody in the one hundreds from the stage. He's got the eagle eyes, the one hundreds, like the nosebleed sections of a arena. I like it. I like you want to know the real me, girl, so you want to see deep inside. If Chelsea has on a Chanel side bag, you don't want to see him reach inside. But we know oh. some demon guys with jealous and evil eyes. You know that's how Jesus died. You know that's how Julius Caesar died. I bet mm. they were decent guys. I swear they remind me of me sometimes. I'm trying to be under your breast like Peter Rice. You never get treated. Drake just compared himself to Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> Uh, must be decent guys. They remind me of me sometimes. Julius Caesar was stabbed to death on the parliament. Jesus also died from jealousy. He's saying he knows some guys with demon, uh, you know, demon guys full of the jealousy. And that's how Jesus died. That's how Julius Caesar died. So when you see his buddy that's got the Chanel bag, when he reaches inside, you know there's a gun in there. Okay, he will fucking kill you because they know these evil demon guys that are full of jealousy. So he's got to stay protected all the time. Then, again, this rhyme scheme being carried out. I like it. I, I really fuck with it. Nice fool you once, that's fine, but you look dumb if you let them repeat it twice. 200 mil on the table, I hope I'm able to get this agreement signed. Told you I needed time, but really the truth is I don't believe in time. Feel like I've been here mm. over a thousand years. Damn, like, bro. Say, I need time, but I don't really believe in time. He basically just swerved the shit out of that bitch right there. Lied to her face. It's like, I just need some time, but I don't even believe in that shit. Like, fuck off. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. Even time. Feel like I've been here over a thousand years, like since the medieval times. 
And I'm still just a cutthroat king, even though this is recent times. A man mm. like that that we're beefing with, but we don't do grieving time. Fuck teasing time. If I come inside you, it's breeding time. This rhyme scheme so is still here. Idols. KMT with an eye roll. Knew that okay, I made change. it when I oh, drivers. Hold oh. KMT with the eye roll. So much for idols. KMT. That's the song that's that, that's the controversy with X, right? Like it's the same cadence and stuff. I know we had that beef with X. Fuck the idols. Yeah, I wrote. Is there a is there a sub right there? A nice little sublim? Referencing the, the Drake and X beef? Surely not, right? Am I reaching? I, I tend to reach a lot of the times in these reactions, but so he kept that rhyme scheme going for a solid minute and a half right there. That was super impressive. Good time. Fuck teasing time if I yeah, I'm a cutthroat king, even though it's recent times, obviously like a medieval king back in the day, but now he's like, slay king. Like <laughs> it's slang for somebody that's like up there, you know? All right. Inside you is breeding time. A lot so of stuff. For idols. KMT with a high roll. Knew that I made it when I had drivers holding ah. my last name up and arrivals. Since my knee vaccine, oh, the limit. see how this vids are going viral. If leaders dead and the hey. mash is there with grains in there like silos. The morning rain clouds up my window. I swear I feel like Dido. J-A-U-N. Wow, bro. <laughs> Shout out to the Stan reference right there. I feel like Dido. I always thought it was Ditto, but the the chorus to Stan, the morning clean, morning rain clouds up my window. That's what that reference is right there. Dido sung the chorus on that. Um, I wow, man. My last Knew I made it when drivers were holding my last name at arrivals, arrivals at the airport. The limousine guys be like standing there, Drake, and you know what I'm talking about. You see those guys stand at airports all the time, waiting to show for somebody you're around. Same up and arrivals. Since my knee vaccine, when he see how this vids are going viral. If leaders dead and the masses mm. there with grains in there like silos. The more need a vaccine because the vids going viral. Viral infection, vaccine infection, but viral video. You get that. Yeah, rain clouds up my window. I swear I feel like Dido. J A U M. How it looks when man put you in a jam like typos. Negotiation. Asked for twenty percent of the company. Oh. That's my final. Realistic to shit my M fifteen like I'm going through Tottenham High Road. J A U M. How man looks when I put you in a jam like typos. So J A M is jam, but I put you in the jam. J A U M. It's like I accidentally put a U in the jam like a typo. That's a fucking bar. Ah, the spelling bars are always wishy washy for me, but I like that one. Put you in a jam like typos. That's fucking nice. NASA for twenty percent right. of the company. That's my final. Realistic to shit my M15 like I'm going through Tottenham High Road. If it's beef, I get that shade for bread and grease like I'm making gyros or I'm making gyros. Mm. So much for all these heroes. The numbers are good with me as long as it's comma to zero 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 zero. Pass me a glass of the vino. If a girl try to take my Rolex to buy some Valentino, I tell baby M what she did to the kid that eyeliner like emo. She didn't rock my clothing line. Mm. We had one shirt to go with the jeans though. Now man like me and Clint can afford those. With like Gran Torino. Good. Hey, shout out to Clint Eastwood, Gran Torino. I love that movie. Bro, I line her like emo. I just poked myself in the fucking eyeball right there. Holy shit, that hurt. Ow! Fuck! All right. I line her. I'm sure that's slang for either I dick somebody down or I fucking kill them. But e like the typical emo style is wearing a lot of eyeliner. I literally just fucked my eyeball up. <laughs> that, that hurt like a son of a bitch, bro. Uh, so dope rhyme schemes throughout. Looks like Central C is coming up to the mic. I'm excited for my first impression of the guy. Um, Drake killed it. So many punchlines, so many different uh, flow switches. Rhyme schemes were crazy. It had a lot of inner rhymes, even though he kept the same end rhyme scheme throughout a lot of the rap portion. Fucking dick, my eyeball hurts. I tell baby M what she did to the kid that, that was nice. Or I'm making gyros. So much for Oh yeah, the, uh, if it's beef. I get the shade from the bread and the grease, like gyros or gyros. Gyros are like sandwiches. I got the bread and the beef and the grease and stuff. So talking about he got all the money and stuff from the beef, like gyros. It's a nice little punchline right there too. Okay. All right, let's see what my man Central C's brings to the building. You got a lot to live up to here. Tell what she did to the kid that eyeliner like emo. She didn't rock my clothing line when we had one shirt to go with the jeans though. Now a man like me and Clint can afford those with like Gran Torino. I love that he changes the way he speaks. Why are you swearing to God? You don't even believe in Christ. What are you saying mm. what law he for? You ain't been on your dean, you been eating swine. Nah, I ain't a man of your dreams. Now you wish that you stayed with your previous guy. It used mm. to be 3.5s. Now I can sell out the old to arena twice. Don't ask what the fee looks like. Don't believe all the media hype. Like, hey, is this the same rhyme scheme that Drake was doing? Like Jesus died, sell out the O2 arena twice. Don't believe all the media hype. It is. 
it's the same rhyme scheme. That's that's nice. Brings cohesion to the actual freestyle. Kind of feels like a song at this point with them carrying on the same rhyme scheme, but saying different words right here. Uh, why are you saying you swear to God you don't even believe in Christ? So basically just saying like, I swear to God I didn't cheat on you. Or I swear to God I love you. Like it means nothing because you don't even believe in God. Like it's, you have nothing to hold your ground with. Your words hold no weight when it comes to that. Okay. I, I fuck with it. He's a, he's a little lackadaisical, lackadaisical with his flow and stuff I, I hear a lot of guys that sound like him that do drill uh so i'm looking i'm still searching for something that gives me the little the wow factor but i fuck with him i, I know that's the typical style to rap drill over let's go ask what the feel looks like don't believe all the media hype like 80 percent of these people lying who can i ask when i need advice i gotta work hard this new provides email white piece for the future look what goes mm. up must come 80 percent of these people lie so who can i even ask advice from so I, that's got a little emotional right there like so many people around me lying looking for shit that i can't even trust anybody to ask advice for it's, it's just me on my own now. Feature, look what goes up must come down so when you're in the air prepare for the landing i did everything that i could for my hood mm. so how did they say i don't care for the man the crib so big i might get out of breath if i walk too quick up the stairs in a mansion they weren't mm. there for the action trying to round up 300 spot and we're going to what we ain't in athens everything won't go to plan that's not how it goes i'm afraid shit happens Rap okay footballers wage i'm on the same page round up the 300 spartans go to war but this ain't athens he's he's trying to round up warriors he's got homies we're going to war but not you know this is sparta the spartan kicked that war uh his house is so big you run out of breath going up the stairs in the mansion but i like the part where he says you know what goes up must come down so when you're in the air make sure you prepare for the landing it's very metaphorical for the rise and fall of stardom in the music industry like eventually you're gonna have to fall back down to earth so make sure you're prepared for the landing and you don't crash land because everybody no, no matter how how you get, you're gonna come back down. So just make sure you're prepared for the landing, and it's not a crash landing. Very metaphorical. Uh, even though there's not like a whole lot of emotion in it, it is kind of emotional. Well, wage, I'm on the same pay as the players at Dallas. What's making the haters jealous? Mm. I think of the APs eighteen carrots. They call me my government name in Harris. Uh, eighteen carrots is a fucking lot. Know who baby dad is. Uh, if I come inside, then I won't leave till I see I take the tablet. No, he mentioned my name because <laughs> he wanted some name and he ain't established. <laughs> All right, you know the verse gonna hit when you hear that ad lib. Come a long way, I was selling them opium on my lonely, but I'm not Ken Carson. Mm. I'm a hood, red hot, red dot on my head, and my hood on my target. So drive, I'll stay Ooh. in a whip while I jump out quick, don't park it. I can like that, the red dot on my head, I'm a target when I'm in my hood now because I've made it so far and people are you know, jealous. So now it's like I got a red dot on my head where I look like a target because the red dot is the middle of the target. That's kind of cool. Uh, I, I heard something about football and maybe like a soccer club and... He's on the same pay as the wage at the players at Dallas. I don't know if it's like a Dallas football club or like Dallas Cowboys. I, I just, he's making sports figures money and athletes notoriously make a fuck ton of money. So that's basically saying how, that's how much money he's making. Carson, I'm a hood, red, hot, red dot on my head and my hood on my target. So drive, I'll stay in a whip while I jump out quick, don't park it. I can lean out the window and horn it. I'm on the same pay as the players at Charlotte. Big fish in this team, no home, man. I got back stroke, I'm swimming a shot. Man. Drop me in a jungle tree to tree, start swinging like Tarzan. 24 inch on the rims on the bro. I like that. That's a good bar right there, too. Drop me in the jungle tree to tree, I start swinging like Tarzan. Like, you put me in the jungle. Metaphorically, the jungle is just like the crazy place of rap. Like, the jungle of New York is like the concrete jungle. You put me in the jungle, you put me in the middle of all the wild animals and beasts. I'm immediately going to start swinging tree to tree like Tarzan. I'm the king of the jungle the second you put me in that jungle. So, that's a dope bar right there, too. But. The bar about the Hornets, like lean out the car and Hornet. I'm on the same pay as the players at Charlotte, the Charlotte Hornets, but Hornet as in like the drive-by shooting. I don't know if it means like when you horn something, you shoot somebody or like you lean on the horn to let them know you're about to fucking kill them. I don't know. There's a, there's a reference to be made right there with the car and the Charlotte Hornets. And it was a nice little double entendre with Hornet. So I, I fuck with that. Tree to tree, start swinging like Tarzan. 24 inch on the rims on the bends. I'm doing donuts and skidding on tarmac. Huh. Sick of these high rise hmm. buildings. Flip the script now. I'm living on farmland. Huh. 24 inch rims on the bends. Skidding and doing donuts on the tarmac. Is that what he said? The tarmac is like the lead way up to the airport. So is that saying he's got an expensive car, expensive rims, expensive wheels, doing donuts on the airport. And the only reason you get to drive on the on an airport as if it's a private airport, meaning you got a private jet, meaning you got a lot of fucking money. A lot of flexing going on right here. Now he's living in farmland. Fuck the skyscrapers. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's the ad lib. So I'm guessing Central C is known for like the, all right, ad lib before he gets on the track because Drake just kind of referenced it right there. And I know he said earlier in the freestyle, when you hear, when he said, oh, all right, when you, you know it's going to be gas when you hear that ad lib or something along those lines. 
So a nice little reference right there. Okay, yo, I fuck with this. Um, both guys, hella rhyme schemes throughout. I like that they had the same rhyme scheme to start their verses. And just like I said, it's the cohesion between the track. But Drake had a fuck ton of punchlines. Central C had a handful of punchlines, but had some more metaphorical stuff. Uh, just different styles of rap when it comes to the technicality. But both of them sound good on this. Uh, like I said, it's a little harder for me to get into the lackadaisical style of drill that Central C was really bringing to it. Drake is lackadaisical too, but it's just something about his voice. Um, it's it's almost like a melodic lackadaisical the way he speaks. It's it's hard to really explain. It's just it's a little different. But again, I like the punchlines. I like the flows that these guys had, and uh, yeah, I liked it. I think they both held their own, had their own unique stuff on the track, brought some stuff to the table. Let me know how you guys felt about this. That's the end of this video. I appreciate you for stopping by. Subscribe if you want to. Probably don't really fucking care about that. But uh, yeah, follow me on Kick. I live stream like five times a week. And it's fun. <laughs> Almost at a thousand followers if you want to check that out. But all right. Love you guys. Peace out. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Here I go. Cause it's all I know. And there's comfort in being the Lord. I fly away far, far from the light. Cause I Don't shine and I never have to look myself in the eyes If my heart had wings